Welcome back to a Derail Valley. So, been quite some time since I was here last. Main reason for that is the computer I was currently using was just not up to scratch to play this game. I had it on low graphics and even though I did a couple episodes, the parts I um, all cut out were very, very laggy from one town to the next. And that's just the smaller towns. So if I would ever go to Harbour Town, it was just atrocious. So with the new PC, I have everything on Ultra and it runs smooth as butter. So I did save my previous save file, so I haven't lost any progress. But we will jump into something here. But I don't want to do any shunting, so Hmm, what I might do is I'll grab this smaller one, Harbour Town goes, so where are we, we're Goods Factory. So I think the only way to get the Harbour Town is go along this way, go past Steel Mill and then loop around. So I might grab the smaller one, do a stop off at Steel Mill, see if we can pick up a second job there. And, well, hopefully it's going to be for Harbour Town as well. I think that will be the plan. So we'll stick that in. What have we got? D30. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about the time bonus because we're going to stop at our uh, steel mill. So it's going to take a, quite a bit of time to sort all that out as well. So just checking if I did uncouple and we'll start her up Whoop. wrong way so currently on turn the volume down currently on build 92 that came out last week I think so this build has greatly improved the vegetation and also the rendering of the vegetation so for the lower end PCs not including my other one which was half dead it does run a lot better and what what they've done as well is they've taken all the graphic settings one step down so if you were running on medium if you continue to run on medium, you would actually be running on high. If you ran on high, then you'd be running on, I don't know what the next one is, either very high or ultra. Fair yeah, performance, certainly a lot better. So that is quite good. It's actually good for me to actually see vegetation rather than just blank ground. Because, yeah, it did make the game quite dull playing, but much, much better. And we'll stop just up here, because Delta Yard's down that way. Just got to remember what all the buttons are. Yeah, that's my brakes. Stop. So where was it? D30. Cool, cool. Well, I'll just cut while I run. Alrighty, so Delta 30. I'm sorry, I think it's, I think I established this last one. It's a Delta 3 Oscar. It's not a zero. But we'll check our junction. So you need to change. And you will need to change. And apart from the one right in front of us, that actually, maybe that one as well. Nope, oh, that one's good. So, yep, just this one left. Cool, cool. Up 
we go. Check it in reverse. So still looking forward to the simulator update that they're working on. So it should definitely add quite a bit more to this game. It's kind of a fun game, but it can be pretty frustrating at times. So I think it's just going to add a ton more frustration, to be honest. But there's nothing wrong with a challenge. If games, are, well, most games nowadays are easy, because, you know, holding your hand through everything. So it is actually good to come across challenging games. We'll try not to slam into the back of this. So what do we have? Four cars. So that's easy, so we'll see what we pick up at Steel Mill. If we do have anything to pick up, that is. So that'll add a bit more weight. It's been quite a while since I've been to Harbour Town, so I can't remember. I know it's got a, a steep incline, but I can't remember if that's going in or out. Pretty sure it might be out, but we'll still have a slight incline anyway. And we have touched down. Hook you up, check that we have the correct cars. Got to freaking remember how to do it all. Hasn't been that long, freaking hell. So we got Charlie Foxtrot 935. Where are you? Charlie Foxtrot Sierra. Sorry, I forgot the Sierra. 570. Yep. So we want 935 at the end. 935. Yay. So I will check that these are all connected because. In the past, I have actually connected my consist, but half of it wasn't actually connected, so I do actually check them all now. I don't know if that was a bug or if it actually does do that, but yeah, always good to be safe. And off we go. So we're going to have to loop around. And I may have to change one of the junctions over there from when I dropped off the last consist. I think I was doing the shunting one in episode two. But on my main channel, Mission Gaming, I've recently uploaded the KwaZulu Natal Corridor time-lapse video. So if you're not checked out my videos over there, then they're basically 98% locomotives so probably tomorrow I'll work on the what was it the Southwestern Expressways which is reading to Exeter time lapse so I'll probably have that up either late tomorrow or maybe early the next day but just because I'm doing this channel Mr. Squeakles does not mean I'm going to neglect Mr. Mission Gaming. It's just mainly because I've really just been doing the time lapse videos over there for new release routes that come out. And they're usually, you know, one new route every three to four weeks. So between that, I kind of play other games because. I don't actually play Train Simulator 20 whatever year we're up to currently. I pretty much just make the videos and then I install it, uninstall it, sorry. But I do like the editing and editing with this new computer is going to be so much better. So, 
actually took quite some time just because everything just constantly bogged down quite a bit. How do I do my horn? There we go. Not like it really matters here, but got no AI, which is on their roadmap, have an AI. Interesting to see how that all works though. See, I'm probably gonna have to change the junction up this way. And then it'll be straight out. Actually throw you down there. Where am I going? Echo eight Echo eight. Blah, blah, blah. Echo eight India. Change you. They still have not fixed the inventory system. They always still get jumbled up. Kill, kill. Off we go. Jump out of a moving train, why not? All right, here we go, we'll give it a shot. 400. Yoink. So where are we going? Bravo, six Oscar. I've got a bad feeling about this. Might as well change this while we're here. Harbour Town, which one will we go in? Yeah, step two, I don't want step two. Echo, and this one was Echo as well. Yeah, or it's the same, same one. And come through from the west. Yeah, so that one should be pretty easy to find. But almost past the junction here, so I have to stop. And as I said in episode one, no teleporting because teleporting is cheating. So good thing you guys have the amazing thing called editing. A little further. Trying to look at the shadows, it's the only way I can really judge. Almost there. And there we go. Yeah, 
Alright, connect these. And then we will pray that we can make it up. Yoink. Oh, freaking wrong button. Her. There we go. Could not get highlighted. Cool. Sweet as. Be nice if I had a little bit more run up. But. It is what it is. So what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 11 cars. Ow. Tried to grab the brake. Wait for the brake pipe to release. And full steam ahead. It's heavy. I think I can, I think I can. Oh, I know this is not gonna turn out well. <laughs> there we go. Pop our sand on. Bloody, uh, just reaching 10 Ks now. Temperature's coming up coming up at a fair decent rate which is not good still need that it's gonna get a decent amount of speed before I hit the oh, wrong way Decent amount of speed before I hit the steeper part. And here we go, 1.8 gradient. Temperatures in the orange. Yeah, maybe it'll be right. So 1.3 now. Probably turn the sand off. Oh, and I'm losing speed quite quickly. Heat doesn't look... Uh, I think it's slowly going down. 10 Ks. <laughs> uh, I haven't even made it far. Pretty sure... Up where that junction is, it starts to ease off again, so it should be alright. If I can just keep it at 10Ks, or actually, it's still going down. Very slowly, but surely it is. <laughs> oh crap. Hmm. Well, that's not too good. So getting started again is probably not gonna be that enjoyable. So I might let this cool down. All right, so slowly getting going again. Got our temperatures skyrocketing up. Not turn the sand off yet, no. Oh, I just want to reach the junction up there. Right now, turn it off yet. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna have no sand left. I don't think I really need it though. I think that's a little bit of an incline and I'm pretty sure that's all a descent. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna have to make the decision to decouple because I'm almost out of sand 
and I'm just gonna have to drop this first consist off and come back I'm still rolling how do I actually put the brakes on these things I don't know if you can um hmm I think it's gonna roll all the way back down but I guess we'll find out maybe if I just can disconnect that Hmm. Yeah, okay. So that's stopped. We'll see if we can actually get up the remaining of this hill with our four cars. Surely we should be able to, but yeah, almost no sand left. So if I can't get moving, get some momentum, it's not going to be good. So yeah, barely anything left. But we'll give it a go and slowly see it creeping forward that's not too bad good sign I think it's gonna run away with me out there so you still stay in put cool Yeah, so I'm going to have to drop that off, have to do return trip, and I'll have a full lot of sand when I do. I probably won't do that this episode, because currently I've already been recording for 50 minutes, and I'm not even halfway there yet.
Alright. So we want to make sure they're all set to left pretty much. And that should take us straight into Echo. Should. Oh, I said slow down, not stop. India. Still bummed that I could not bring that other one along with me. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. At least I tried. And let's see that one. That one goes down to maybe Charlie or Delta. I've lost track. Pretty sure up ahead there is Echo. I think that's correct. So we want to make sure that one goes to the right into that yard. And then be the second second into it but I'll stop up here I'll double check everything alrighty so eight India is there so is where we have to go check all these yeah you're good you're good And you have to change. And you're good. Sweet as. So straight in, then we'll drop it. And station house. Oh, is that it over there? No. I think it's somewhere around that, in that vicinity. But I'll find it. Cool. So only four cars, so don't have to go all the way down. Yeah, that should be plenty. Stoppy. Slam all brakes on. Why not? So we will need you. Shut you down. Whoop. And uncouple. Cool, cool. Alright, now to find the station. There it is over there, I think. So yeah, I'm literally right there. And it's straight over there. So, can I have a bit of a hike over there? We have made it. Oh. Is this different? I don't know. It's been like forever since I was here last. It looks different, but I could be wrong. Yoink. So, 70 minutes to complete that one. So, certainly no bonus. Bonus money for that one. So we got 10,000 happy days in the bin you go. Yoink. Alright, what have we got in our fees? Whoa. Meh. Oh, how much do I have? 14, meh. Yeah. Not anymore. Cool. Well, there goes all my money. Um, 
but yeah, I only made half the consist. I think episode four we will go rescue the rest of that consist and hopefully I'll be able to get up the hill. I'll have new sand as well, so should be good I reckon. I mean, I think the four ones we dropped off them were around 220 kilos, so 220 tons, sorry. So it is a fair amount of weight less, so I do not foresee a problem. But thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.